Hi, my name is Mark, and I'm an actor in gay porno movies, which is what this movie is all about. I'm here to tell you about the good, hot stuff and some people who know how to make it cook. Making movies means working with people, actors, cameramen, editors, composers, makeup men, lighting and sound technicians. The way the finished film turns out is a result of the interaction of these people. Like the name implies, Hand in Hand operates as a collaborative enterprise. Its founder and president is Jack DeVoe. Well, we've certainly come a long way from the Woodstock scene in Left Handed. One of the things which uh, kept us interested in this uh, business of producing uh, films has been the fact that we've continued to improve the type of picture that we're making. And there's an enthusiasm which has uh, affected all of us uh, to produce a better and better type of male homosexual film. Left-handed turned gay porno films around. Suddenly, the men in bed were characters in a story, and the sex scenes told you where they were coming from. Time Left Handed was released, color was established as the way to show sex on the screen. One of Hand in Hand's first innovations was a rediscovery of black and white. In this sequence from Left Handed, color is used as the medium of reality, turning black and white into an expression of pure fantasy. It's like the Wizard of Oz backwards. just looking at the trailer, uh, the coming attractions for Peter's new film, Adam and Eve. We shot in various places, the Parc Saint-Cloud and the uh, chapel in the country where Jean Cocteau is buried. And we also went to Père Lachaise where Oscar Wilde is buried. And most of these places we weren't allowed to film in. And that we were always getting harassed by the police, but we used to sneak in with the cameras and little bags and things. For a sex scene to generate heat on the screen, the actors have to be as responsive to the director as they are to each other. This isn't like any other kind of acting. Up to a point, it's pretend. But after the actors are physically turned on, it's for real. It's people fucking. A documentary as well as a fantasy. So no matter how worked out a sex scene may be, the director must always be prepared for the unexpected, the spontaneous things that happen. 
when everything goes right, you get a lot of good footage in the can. Then there's the footage which, mercifully, will never see the light of day. Where were you last night that you had such a rough night at the baths? What else do you expect from the fucking fucking? Sound 43. Action. of a successful scene is music. Sex has a dramatic build from beginning to end, and music can convey the rising tension and excitement. In fact, it can come right along with you. Hand in Hand's musical director is David Ernest. Well, I, I don't want to bring in too many people. I'm people. These guys are Really? Because I could come in and do these two songs. I want to get, to get it right, but I, I don't want to spend too much money getting it right. When we filmed the following interview, David was scoring Drive. We asked him if the complexity of Drive posed any special problems. Well, that's true, because there were a lot of psychological values to deal with in the film. And I found that I had to deal with shorter sequences of time, also that, that were jammed against other sequences of a totally different character like a lot of intercutting in the scenes from say a sex scene to the disco scene you have to pick up the sex values uh, but at the same time maintain the disco beat going the piece we're hearing now what david was referring to was the intercutting of a sex scene with the disco scene from draw jack devoe's decadent spectacle about 50 compulsive men shot at les jardins the disco scene features some eye-boggling editing by Bob Alvarez. Billy the Kid is about a young New York hustler whose specialty is making his clients' fantasies real. Here, Billy's clients are Beverly and Doug, a hungry married couple. Gay films don't need an all-male cast to be hot. What luck, we thought. Heady with anticipation, we brought him home ready for the scene of scenes. Not the usual Baroque business of running around the Phalus till we all turn to butter, but something epic. 
Something Wagnerian. Ever so carefully we undressed him, like a beautifully wrapped package on Christmas morning. Piece by piece his body came into view. Arms, chest, thighs. Oh, God. Oh, Billy, <laughs> you're so beautiful. Your body. Jack has been screening a sequence for Archie Gresham, another principal in Hand in Hand. The, the film is ready for uh, exhibition. That's an excellent answer print, don't you think? Yeah. There's been a lot of speculation about the lifestyles of people in the sexual media. We asked Jack to comment on that. Well, the people the, often believe that pornographic filmmakers are surrounded with uh, very beautiful people and it's very easy to get laid and so forth, and that's quite true. <laughs> 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 but, uh, uh, in fact, that isn't true because, as you've already seen in the film, the the uh, the work is a lot less glamorous than it finally appears on the screen and the opportunities uh, uh, to uh, make out or to get laid are no greater than they would be if uh, you were to just go out for a Saturday night. Ten years ago, gay porno didn't exist. Now we've started documenting our sexuality so the people of the future can see what got us off in the, in the 70s. And we haven't been at it for very long, so it's a safe bet to expect the good hot stuff to get even hotter. Well, that's the end of my rap. Time for me to hit the bricks. Goodbye.